Hi, I'm Erica from Farm Study. I've been totally smitten with lacto-fermented curry cauliflower for years. It's tangy, crunchy, super flavorful, and a gorgeous yellow. But unlike some of our other ferments that I can forget about for a couple of weeks or even months, the trick with cauliflower is only letting it ferment a few days before moving it into the fridge. The shorter fermentation time means that you're getting just the right amount of tang and not full-blown sour, which pairs super well with all the flavors of this heavily spiced brine. Plus, those spices turn this cauliflower a gorgeous shade of yellow that I know you can't wait to see. And if you want to learn how to ferment even more veggies, please subscribe, click that bell icon, and you'll get alerted every time we come out with a new video. Now let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need one head of cauliflower, cut into florets, four cloves of garlic, peeled and smashed, smash, 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 perfect. Two dried chilies, they're gonna be hot, two and a half tablespoons of salt, and then all the spices. One tablespoon chili powder, one tablespoon turmeric, one tablespoon curry powder, and one teaspoon cayenne. We'll save those for the brine. Your brine's going to be all your spices plus four cups of water. Let's pack our fermenter with all this cauliflower, some garlic, chili, more cauliflower, cauliflower, garlic, chili, cauliflower, garlic, chili. Tuck everything in, keep going, more cauliflower, tuck, 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 tuck. Fit as much in as you can. We're going to weigh all this down with a fermentation weight. But first, let's add that brine just pour it over. Look at all those spices. Top with your fermentation weight and push down to make sure the brine can cover it. Then just put on your lid and your airlock and it's ready to ferment away. After fermenting for just three days, you want to start tasting your cauliflower. When it's just the right amount of tang, transfer into jars, store in the fridge for easy snacking, and start planning your next project. We're keeping our fermenters and YouTube channel full with new recipes for kraut, kimchi, hot sauce, kombucha, and more. So please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Happy fermenting.